capitulating racism. So there has been an epic failure in the American church to understand that the work of Jesus is not simply the forgiveness of sins. Yes. The work of Jesus not only forgives our sins, but it gives us a family of brothers and sisters with different colored skins. And in this family, because every member is clothed with Christ, righteous in Christ, indwelt by Christ, we see each other with oneness. So therefore, what affects my brothers and sisters should affect me because we share the same DNA. Yes. So evangelicals, we have to move beyond just individual sin. So let me give you an example. And this is, this is really important. Let's say, Neil, you love the Lord. You love all people. But let's say you work at a bank and you mm -hmm. go into the bank and you give loans. And written, in, and written within the policy of that bank to give loans, it, it says you can only give loans to minorities who live in this area of town. Now, you can love the Lord, but that systemic rule tells you yeah. you can only give loans so they can live there. So eventually, years go by and you go, man, there's a lot of minorities on this side of town. Why is it that way? Historically, that's called red lining. There was a red line drawn throughout cities to place minorities. They couldn't get loans outside of that. So we have to move beyond just individual racism to look at systemic racism. And I know I'm going to get some pushback from some of your listeners. And I want to push right back yep. in love and say this, if you believe in the doctrine of total depravity, how in the world do you not think total depravity affects systems.